Today we're opening a $14,000 Yu-Gi-Oh binder. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video and today I bought a $14,000 collection that came in that binder and yet, yeah, before you freak out and you're like, what? He's gonna open another binder, we're not gonna be able to see. I took them all out of the binder, don't you worry. We're not going through a binder, we're not gonna have to pick up the camera, do anything weird like that. But before that, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this Grand Creators First Edition Booster Box. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know your favorite card in here. There's so many nice cards. I can't wait for you guys to see these. All right, let's go through these and uh, another reminder, we're gonna be doing a First Edition Metal Raiders box break this weekend. Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. I haven't decided which day yet, but I will announce on the YouTube community tab. That's where I announced the giveaway winners, which I did recently. So go check that out as well. Let's go. Let's see what we got. So we're going to start with like the lesser, you know, stuff. We're starting at the back of the binder here. I, the front of the binder is way up there. All the good stuff will be later on. So, I mean, there's good stuff in here as well. So, like Dark Paladin, Speed Duel, very cool. Blackluster Soldiers. Okay. The Buster Blader. I mean, like, this is like more, you know, normal stuff. A few bucks each, you know, nothing too crazy. We're not like, you know, going crazy yet break of the magical warrior these speed duel stuff i mean they look really good we got the dark magician of chaos that's in like the lower section by the way so keep that in mind we did spend fourteen thousand bucks so it's kind of expensive but yeah we've got a lot of good cards a lot of this will be for sale on instagram because you know i don't have fourteen thousand dollars just to put into cards we got to resell some of it of course so go check it out if you guys are interested in some of these cards a lot of them will be for sale a lot of these i actually saw and i was like this is not good because i need these for my collection so i'm gonna want to keep them so we might have a little bit of trouble actually you know getting some of our money back we got the shining alternative we got the malefic blue eyes the red eyes black metal dragon i remember when this was like crazy hyped it got to a crazy price alternative blue eyes gatling this is like in the bad section this is insanely expensive we pulled it out of flaming eternity the other day go check that video out it's pretty awesome live stream elements of our mistress we're getting into the good stuff now already swords of concealing light ultimate rare master of oz a classic so there's a little bit of wear on some of these i'm going to be checking in on all the conditions like afterwards we're not going to have to do that for most of these but scrap dragon black Cluster Soldier, Super Soldier. You guys remember this? We searched for this out of Dimension of Chaos like over two years ago at this point. It's crazy how long it's been. Trident Dragon, we got the uh, Archfiend Emperor, the uh, Archfiend Commander, the Archfiend Empress. Okay, pretty cool. The Red Dragon, Archfiend Assault Mode. I don't know if I have an unlimited of this, ulti or not. Might need that for my binder, but it does have some edge wear, so it won't be like the permanent copy, but it could hold, you know, a spot for now. Overmean Archfiend, we got the uh, Mazira Deville. This is actually a really cool one. A Glass Secret Rare. This was just kind of like randomly in there. First edition Glass Secret Rare, Gladiator Beast, Heraclinos. Really cool card. Reaper on the Nightmare, Ubel. We got the Ubel Tear Incarnate, Ubel Regular. The Star Lead Cypher, that's a pretty good card. Victory Dragon, not from Retro Pack. That'd be pretty nice. Yeah, wait, wait a second. Oh, this is the same card. Why does this look so different? This looks like much darker. You guys see this? They're both Star Lead Cypher. This one's darker than the other one. That's pretty weird. Thunder Dragon Dark. So maybe it's like a Euro print or something like that. The Creator. I mean, we're just going... This is just like the casual stuff. Eldritch. I didn't even notice this when I pulled this out. That's a Secret Rare Eldritch. Those are really expensive. Here is a really cool one. I think this is a German Necroface Unlimited. Still value. Even though it's foreign. Foreign stuff can be a little bit harder to sell, but that's still really cool. So nice stuff. Eldritch the Golden Lord again. Very nice. Vampire Lords and Vampire Vamps. So we're through a little bit of the, uh, you know, I mean, that's just the average stuff. So just wait till you see what's next. There's one extra binder that was like a bunch of like $2 cards. I'm not going to go through that because I mean, it's not that exciting. There's a couple of decent cards like Triple Tactics Talents was in there. That's obviously more than two bucks, but for the most part, it was low, low value stuff. So we got the Conquistador. So a lot of Eldritch stuff, the Palladium, Oracle Mahad, the Endymion, Dark Magician, First Edition Ulti. I have a PSA return where if you guys remember when we opened that whole case of these, uh, decks where we got the ulti dark magician ulti blue eyes i submitted that like 15 months ago it's almost done at psa so hopefully we'll have a psa video of that soon pretty excited for that dark sage apprentice illusion just got reprinted in the newest legendary duelist season three so probably not as much value as it used to be the dark red enchanter i always thought was really cool but uh, not that great okay the danger sukinoko the collector rare you're gonna see more collector rares the uh, venomanaga then we have just the regular secret from tactical evolution snake rain phenomenon we got phenomenon again the aaron okay look it's Pokemon, Aaron. We've got the uh, Agabus, the Agdoetic Overlord, the Amanusa, the Agdoetic Queen. I didn't, I've like never even seen these cards because I think we pulled this one, but I don't think we pulled that one when we opened that. Elowen Secret. Are these reverse? This is reverse. This is not. This is regular. If you guys can see it, it goes uh, bottom left to top right. This is reverse because it goes bottom right to top left, if you know what I'm talking about, the secret rare pattern. 
Gate Guardian, very nice. That is not reverse. That's, wait, oh wait, this can't be, this is not English. First edition? Yeah, yeah, I knew. I was like, this is way too bright. Asian English. So the, with the uh, the Asian English, they look a lot more like the reprints. I was like, this is, wait, how's this first edition? Yeah, Asian English, that's why. Then we have a play set. These are actually original MRD. We got Kazuden, Sui Jin, and Sangha. Very cool. The Beta, Gamma, and Alpha. Those are beautiful set. They're not very expensive, but they're a nice set. Arch Sword, Christia, Secret Rare, just an unlimited first edition. That's an insane card, but still nice. Victoria, Harvest Angel of Wisdom, Neo Parshath, Air Knight Parshath, Avenging Knight Parshath, Teftis, Nova Summoner, and Geladuo. We still got a lot to go. Like, there's a lot of good stuff. The Legendary Magician of Dark, the Legendary Dragon of White. Rhyme Style actually gave me a PSA 10 on one of these at one point. We pulled this in the every pack opening, but it graded a 9, unfortunately. I have Tamias, non gosher version. Still a nice version of the card, though. We've got the, uh, what is this card called? The uh, Magi Magi Magician Girl or something like that. Uh, amulet, we got the Dark Magician of the Dragon Knight. This looks so much better in secret than the colored versions. Um, by the colored, I mean the colored name, but yeah, for sure. Uh, Kiwi Magician Girl, Berry, Apple, Chocolate. Regular Dark Magician Girl Secret, I think it's like $15. It's actually pretty solid. Lemon, this is the actual uh, Lost Art. Is this the original one? I think 19 is the original, right? And then 30-something is the next one. So those are all the original print. Red Eyes, Black Dragon, Dark Magician, Blue Eyes from the Gold Series. We got an Exodia Lart set, which is pretty nice. Lost Art, the first five that came out besides the Monster Born. That was the very first one. Blue Eyes, White Dragon, just different prints of the unlimited SDK. Like, look how much different these two look. There's a lot of prints in the original Yu-Gi-Oh, like a lot of different stuff. Exodia Unlimited, Exodia Full Set. That looks like a original print. I think all those are original print pieces. Dogmatica Maximus, this is from Rise of the Duelist, the original set. Same with the Fleur de Lis, the Titanoclad. We got a uh, DPE, and this is going to be a Starlight and Power of the Duelist. A lot of people were like, what is DPE when I post on Instagram? This is DPE. Destiny Hero Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer. This will be a Starlight. A lot of people are upset. I think it's going to be cool. I just like cool monsters being in Starlight. Like, I don't care if it's playable or not. I just think it looks cool. All right, we're getting on to the end of the second to last stack. So we got Dasher. That's a secret rare. Nice. A uh, couple Fusion Destiny Ultis. This is the Destiny Soldiers print, which is actually a pretty nice secret rare print. Best print of Celestial that there is in terms of value. I actually opened a box of this like very early on in the channel. Toon Dark Magician, the Page Flip, Toon World, a lot of Toon stuff in here. We got the Black Cluster Soldier Collector Rare, that's unlimited though. Toon Bookmark, Toon RP Lady, Blue Eyes Toon Dragon, Ultimate Toon Kingdoms. This is pretty cool. You love to see those from OTS 14. Harpy's Feather Duster, very beat up, but cool. Cyber Harpy Lady, Alluring Mirror, the Elegant Egotist, Harpy Lady First Edition, acts like a $30 near mint card, which is insane. And like $300 in PSA 10, by the way. So like, if you actually pull this out of a Metal Raiders pack, you like make your money back. It's insane. Harpy Lady Sisters, Harpy's Pet Baby Dragon, Harpy Chandler, there's an ulti and then a couple of ultras, no, three ultras. Cyber Slash Harpy, that was a terror in Duel Links for a while. I don't know if it still is. Harpy's Pet Dragon, Harpy's Conductor, and we got Perfumer. So a bunch of Harpy stuff. Jacks, Queens, and Kings Knight, unlimited prints, but still beautiful ultimate rares. They look really nice. Stardust Dragon ultimate rare, even unlimited. This looks insane. Black Rose as well. Red Dragon, Archfiend ulti. Loki, we've got uh, Disney Plus, Odin Father, the Aesir, and Thor. There we go, the new movie. I'm not that good, to be honest. And now we're on to the final stack. It starts getting pretty nice from this point. Like, there's some really, really good stuff. So let's see what we can uh, show you guys. Horus the Black Flame Dragon uh, ulti, just, just on limb, but it's level four. It looks amazing. Level six, that looks pretty awesome. What could be next? How about a level eight? A little bit of edge wear up there at the top, but a four, six, and eight set unlimited. I, I've told you guys many times, first edition set of this got lost in the mail for me. That sucked. Arm Dragon level seven, Arm Dragon level 10, Arm Dragon level five. Oh, yeah. There, some of these were kind of in order, and like the way you have to pull them out of the binder, it's like some point certain directions, and they get out of order, if you know what I mean. Mystic Swordsman level 6, level 4, pretty cool, level 2, so the whole set there. Those are all unlimited as well. This also has some edge wear, but great GOAT format card. Adam Emancipator Researcher, I think those are actually pretty decent. Fantastical Dragon Phantasme, Lava Golems, I think these are PGD Unlim, yeah. Are they reverse? I don't think so, no. Uh, Ghost Ogre from Cross, that's a nice card. Tour Guide from the Underworld, a couple of versions there. Beatcom. Trade in Collector Rare, one of the best cards from that set. Uh, Ancient, uh, Ancient Guardians, like really bad set overall, it's not good. Rhoda, nice version. Divine Arsenal Zeus, I would like the Starlight of this, that'd be pretty cool. Evil Twin Lilla, we had Evil Twin Key Skill, these are all Collector Rares. Live Twin Lilla, Evil Twin Key Skill and Lilla, Evil Twin Key Skill. Dark Magician, here's a whole BPT 2002 promo set. We got the Seven Skull, the Blue Eyes White Dragon, Lord of D, that one's actually pretty beat up right there red eyes black dragon if there's one to be beat up though it's lord of d just let that one get beat up b skull we got the genzo this is the 2003 10s get wait no that's psv reverse actually reverse foil psv guy of the dragon champion that's gold letter this is a tri -horn. this is silver letter not gold letter so the gold letter is pretty crazy silver's not so much oh that might be reverse actually i think it's a reverse then we've got the uh 
Yap one set, which all come in one singular pack, so you get all these different cards. Some it's got all these different artworks, which are really, really cool. Buster Blader, Red Eyes, Dark Magician, and then the Blue Eyes from Jump. So a lot of really cool promos there. And if that wasn't enough, we got more heavy hitters. We got some Ghost Rares. Here is a Star Eater, one I've never pulled. A Ghost Rare Unlimited. I think I do need this for my binder, so that's pretty nice. Dark Magician, I do, I do not need this. I have multiple of these. Rainbow Dragon Unlimited, I don't have. I have First Edition. Honest Unlimited, I think we do have. Stardust Unlimited, we definitely have one of those. Rainbow Neos, I'm pretty sure I don't have that Unlimited. I think I have, no, I do have Unlimited. I don't know what condition it's in, though. The Winged Dragon of Raw, of course, we pulled one of those. We've got the number 107. We pulled one of these as well, first edition. Blackluster Soldier. I do we I don't think we ever pulled this, actually. I might actually need that. Chaos Emerald Dragon Ultimate Rare. Chaos Emerald Dragon Collector Rare First Edition. The Unlimited IOC reprint. The Luminous Soldier from TP5 Ultra. We've got the Chaos Dragon Levineer Ulti. Blackluster Soldier. That's a collector rare. Another collector rare. Chaos Emerald Dragon, not the prize card, unfortunately. Two of those. Look how much different. That's a Euro print for sure. And this is just a regular NA print. Judgment Dragon First Edition, beautiful. Three of these, by the way. A play set of First Edition Judgment Dragons from LODT. I don't know the condition. I'm going to check that afterward. Dark Magician Girl Unlimited MFC. Dark Magician Girl Unlimited MFC. And how about three of them? Three Dark Magician Girls. Absolutely insane there. That looks nice. Injection Fairy Lily First Edition. We've got one First Edition, one Unlimited. I think, yeah, two Unlimited, one First Edition. Then we've got a Proto Cyber Dragon Ulti, Cyber Twin Dragon, Proto Cyber Dragon, Cyber Dragon. Cyber Dragon Alt Art from the new one and the original Cyber Dragon. That's pretty big money. Cyber Dragon Ulti again. So the fire is just, it's there. It's insane. This is the final stack. There's a lot more fire in here and it's going to get way better, by the way. I mean, like there's a lot of really nice stuff. Maybe not way better. Cyber Dragon Ulti is pretty awesome. But there's a lot of fire in this last stack. Cyber Laser Ulti. This is the one we always pull, even though it's ultra, out of SOI. We never get the actual one we want. Cyber and Dragon Ultimate. This is like, I think German. Yeah, so a German Ulti Cyber Dragon looks beautiful. Barrier, uh, Sky Striker, Shizuku, Kagari, Hayate. We've got the uh, Galatea with another Ki Kaina. Kaina? How do you say that? Those Sky Strikers are pretty valuable. Firewall Dragon, Ulti, Hulk, Fibrax. Wow, that was probably more valuable for the reprint. There's another Soldier of Chaos. Okay. We've got the Treeborn Frog. These are on limb. First edition, these are like 250 each. They're insane. So a play set of those, but still, some I think are Euro print, which is pretty cool. Deck Devastation. I just traded mine for the Minerva Super Rare, which was pretty cool. Dark Requiem Xyz Dragon, the Trap Tricks of Flesia, Dogmatica. We've got a play set of those from the newest OTS pack. Pretty cool. Yadagrasu Unlimited. We got Ravael Lord of Phantasms, Ultimate Rare. This might even be a Euro print, actually. I'm not really eh, maybe not. I'm not sure. That's unlimited. We got an unlimited Haman, which does definitely have some damage and edge wear to it. And then we've got a Uriah. So I think that one is German. Are these German? No, these are English. This one's German. So a play set there, which is pretty nice. Now we're getting into some nice or not ultimate, I should say, Starlights. That's a different rarity. Okay, we got the Tri Brigade. We've got the Trap Tricks, Hida, the Fire Charmer. These are like crazy valuable right now. These fire, they're these charmers. DD Crow Ultimate First Edition. DD Crow Ultimate First Edition. Those are big money. We've got Torgat from the other world, Underworld, Ultimate Rare, very nice. Then we've got a Winged Dragon of Raw from D DoD, the Dawn of Destiny. I have a sealed copy of this, but really nice, pretty version. It's very similar to the GBI Secret, but still really nice. Oblis the Tormentor, Arm Dragon Thunder. I think this is one of the cheaper Starlights, but still nice. Judgment Dragon, Ultimate Rare from Turbo Pack 1. I do not own one of these, so this is pretty sick. We've got a Dark Arm Dragon. I also don't own this. This is a Turbo Pack 1. So these are kind of the big boys out of Turbo Pack. Like, those are some big ones. We've got a Leviathan Dragon. This is very cheap, actually, but still a nice card. Utopia, also the Astral version, but Utopia is worth a lot more, I think. 10,000 Dragon. We haven't seen one of these on the channel in a while since we graded mine, which was a while back, but beautiful. So expensive still. Then we have a Iris Sword Soul. This card used to be expensive. It's not now. And then Sky Striker Ace Rose. So that's not quite the end of it. We have a couple more things. Then we've got a couple of sealed promos. So we've got like Dark Magician Girl that was never open. We've got a Slide for the Sky Dragon from uh, YMA. These were sealed, I think. I don't think DoD was in with the other cards, so they were not sealed. United We Stand. These are those promos that they sent out. There was a limited amount of them currently. We don't know if they're going to reprint them or not, but right now there's not very many of them out there. So pretty cool. Palladium Moral Cool Mahad's another one. We got the Blue Eyes Alternative, which looks really nice with this like light blue text. I mean, it looks really awesome. And then a Guardian Names Gnome, which you guys saw in my vlog. I got one of these. And that's pretty much it. There's a few other cards, but that's the bulk of it for the most part. So let me know if you think that was a good deal. I'm also going to check all the conditions afterward, make sure that we line up and like everything before we like actually work out how much we're going to pay. But agreed on is 14000 right now. So let me know if you guys think that was too much, not enough, a good deal. Let me know. If you guys are interested in any of these cards, make sure to check out my Instagram at Ruxin34. Also, my T 
TTG player store name is Ruxin. And if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to TCG, Trust Cards, Tomefo Show, Tomato Juice, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Squirtle, Flexi Boy, Dizzy, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Ian Musa, Junior Barning, John Nolan, and Untai Show, Thomas McLean, and Seth Fisher. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.